How did I get here? Take a second. Take one second. Listen. You know what I hear? I hear prosperity. But the question is, how did I get here? Wesley Virgin, how did you get here? You know, I'm out here in Cancun here, Mexico, in the presidential suite here. I gave you guys a small tour, but I said, you know what? Let me record another video because, see, I don't want people to get this twisted. I worked for this, okay? And so many people that watch my videos, yes, I, know, I show a lot of amazing things. But for one second, I don't want you to get it screwed up and thinking that all this, a presidential suite, I arrived here about 3 o'clock and I asked the lady, could I do an upgrade? And she said, it's going to be 6000 extra. And I said, give it to me. I didn't think twice. How did I get here? I want you to understand that you see here. Let me show you something. You see this jacuzzi? It's a jacuzzi outside of the living room here, okay? Large, huge balcony here, okay? Overlooking the beautiful ocean here. My private beach. Mine, okay? Best view. How did I get here? I worked here. See, that's what some of you don't understand. You say that you don't want this mediocre life, this boring, normal nine to five job, take two, three, maybe three vacations a year that I ask someone to do something in life, but yet you want all this. This ain't easy. Hey, this is not easy. I had to take risk. You got to take risk. But see, guess what? You're scared. You know, the same person that want all this stuff that I have, right? Let me show you this. Let's check it out. You know, I'm here for three days, right? Just the hotel alone is over seven grand, right? Right? You want all this luxury, right? I got a butler and I also have a chef, right? Cup of my meals, right? Drinking this amazing, expensive brandy here, right? And you say you want this, but you're scared to get your butt off right now, get up and do something towards your goal. You're scared to quit your job. You're scared to take risks. You're scared to make a decision for yourself. How are you going to get all this? Right? Can, can you not see the smile on my face? I'm happy. You want this happiness, but you're not ready to recondition your mind. You got to change the way you think, man. One man. You. You got to change the way you think to get this. I didn't get this by being lazy. I didn't get this by not believing. First thing, I always believed in myself. Second thing, I had faith. Third thing, I would create what I wanted. I remember in the small apartment, I remember posting the stuff on the wall that people used to make fun of me when they would come to my apartment. Why do you have this junk on your wall? All these vacations, all these cars. Nobody need 36 cars. Well, I want it. I don't anybody need I wanted it. But see, now look. Look, several years later, and they're happy. Guys, come here. I'm recording this stuff to show you and to inspire you that it's possible that you can go from nothing, zero dollars, zero money, no resources, and make it big. The only thing that I changed that mattered, okay, was the way that I think, how I believed about things. When things would happen to me in my life, instead of looking at it negatively, I said, you know what, this is something that is painful, but guess what, I can see the good in it. Maybe I'm struggling, but maybe it's a reason why I'm struggling. Maybe it's a lesson that's teaching me something that's going to get me here. And guess what it did? See, a lot of you folks, I'm talking to you. You curl up and you cry about your problems. Cry. Oh, it's not happening for me. Why can't I figure this out? Why no one's helping me? Crying. Pity. First thing is this. And listen up to me, man. I'm saying this out of love. First, you've got to understand that you're worthy of this. You, you're worthy of this shit. You're worthy of it. This could be you. I'm just a texting boy 
36 years old and I'm living my dream. And I'm telling you, my friend, you could be living the same dream. We live in the same country, the same world, same resources, same opportunity. You're not in jail. Some of you guys live a life like you're in prison. Oh, the government is doing this to me. Oh, no one's giving me an opportunity. No one's giving me money to start my business. I don't have any money. I'm broke. First thing of all, stop saying you're broke. Let me tell you something. If you want to be in my community, don't you ever say that you're broke. Because you're not. If you keep saying that you're broke, you will remain broke. You tell yourself right now that you are rich. I was talking to somebody today. They said, well, Wesley, I don't have it like you. I'm broke. I said, no, you're not. The mentality starts here. I said I was rich six years ago when I had $1,000 in my bank account. I said I would drive luxury cars when I was driving a 1988 Honda Accord. Come on now. You got to say every day that I am worthy of this. I confess. I am rich. I am a millionaire. I am great. One thing is you got to build up your self-esteem, my friend. So the only thing that you're not living your dream because you don't believe that you can. Your self-esteem is so low. Being modest. Well, we got to be humble. Well, I don't want to be greedy. Greedy about what? We live in a word of abundance. God said that you can have whatever you want. Just ask and you shall receive. Ask, believe, and receive. It is abundance of resources of things that you can't even imagine. This is a small level. This, this is small compared to what's going on in my brain. But the question is, what's going on in your head? See, you watching this video. You seeing all this, you say, man, Wesley, how did you be able to get into a presidential suite? You got jacuzzis here. Let me show you the other jacuzzi. I got another balcony over here, right? Let me show you this. Look, living room here, right? And in, in the morning, my chef is going to cook my meals over there in the kitchen area, okay? I just came here just to relax, just to be by myself so I can meditate, so I can believe, so I can create more of what I want, so I can hone in and focus on my goals. I did the same thing when I was in that apartment paying $600 a month in my small apartment doing the same thing. But guess what? Now I can do it in style. I can do it in style now. But you got to start somewhere. See, a lot of you guys, you're afraid to start. Look at this. This is the bedroom here. Beautiful. Oh, man, it feels good. Feathers. I swear to you, feathers in my living area here. Say if you was able to take your girl or your family out to a resort. Say, you know what, baby? Pack the kids up. We're going to Cancun for the weekend. Who cares about the price? And we're going to just relax. And we're going to go out here. You know, while the kids are playing on the other half of the house. And we're going to come out here and a jacuzzi and drink some wine. And we're going to toast to our success. But we're going to continue to believe and have faith that our dream will continue to manifest. And we thank God that this was possible. And we thank God that we can contribute to other people's lives. And we thank God that we are living this life. That we continue to help other people do the same. Guys, that's what I'll be doing here tonight. But I'll be doing it by myself. I'll be thanking the universe, thanking God. Thank you for the power. Thank you for the strength. Thank you for the opportunity to change people's lives. Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to put myself in this situation, in this position, that I can go and encourage and inspire your people. Guys, it's possible. Look at it. It's possible. You deserve this. Stop making excuses. Stop giving yourself reasons of why you're not here. Reasons are nothing but excuses. One thing I'm going to leave you with, you know, Paul Mitchell said this. Now, Paul Mitchell is the guy that created all the shampoos, right? And he said this, guys. And I want you to write this down. All right? The 1% is they will. Paul Smith says this. He says he's a billionaire. He says, one thing that you have to harness, one thing that you're going to have to deal with, one thing that you're going to have to cope with before you will ever be able to live any type of luxury, any type of amazing lifestyle, okay, that you'll be able to do whatever you want to do when you want to do it, okay, is you must be prepared for rejection. You must be prepared for people to tell you no over and over again. You must be prepared for your feelings to get hurt.
You must be prepared for people to reject you. For, me, for people to tell you that your dream is not to be prepared for that. And understand that even through that, you must still believe that this is possible. Through that, you must still believe and convince yourself. Because that's what I did. Every day I had to convince myself. Every day I had to say, Wesley, you're worthy. People say, nah, Wesley, you ain't worthy. I'm worthy. Now, nah, Wesley, you're not going to make it. I'm going to make it. Now, nah, Wesley, you ain't rich. I'm rich. Wait, Wesley, you lying telling you on a... I got it. You can't see the Rolls Royce, but I got it. You can't see the $5.5 million home that I have in Houston, te in Texas, but I got it. The amazing vacations around the world. I'm taking them. I was saying this before any of that was ever happening. Because no one... I got desensitized to rejection. I got desensitized to people telling me no. You got to do the same. If you want this. If you want this. You got to do the same. My friend. Stay focused. I'm about to relax here. Whew. Ah, I'm working myself up a sweat. Tomorrow I'm going to have a full spa day. It's going to be about six hours. And let me tell you about it too. I'm getting my nails done, my feet done. Um, facials. I'm going to get a body exfoliation. I'm going to get a body massage here. I'm going to do it for the entire weekend. I go out to the beach and I'm going to meditate. And all I'm going to meditate is, one, I'm going to be grateful for everything that I have. See, a lot of people say I'm blessed and I'm lucky. No, that's not what it is. I'm not saying I'm not blessed, I'm not, not saying I'm not lucky, but I work for this. I believed in it, okay? I was obsessed with it. People get in life what they deserve, not what they want, not what they pray about, not what they hope for. It's what they deserve. Based off your works, right now you're getting what you're getting, based off your works. And if you're not getting it, that means you got to keep working. You got to keep stretching. Like Steve Harvey said, you got to jump, man. You're standing at the ledge right now, scared as hell, scared shitless, and say, oh, man, should I jump? Should I jump? Jump! And sometimes you got to jump without the parachute. Sometimes you got to jump, and you have to believe that that parachute is going to open. But let me tell you this, folks. Your parachute is not going to open right away. It's not. You're going to hit those bumps, those scrapes. You're going to hit yourself against those rocks. But I promise you, the parachute well open. Hey, much love. Stay encouraged. Get fit with passion. Mexico!